Hey guys, welcome to BFC Youth Online. I'm Pastor Kate, and I am so glad that you have joined us tonight. This last week, we asked you guys to be baking in your kitchens and to submit your pictures of all the things that you baked, and we're going to select a winner right now. So watch this video, and then tell us in the comments whose you liked best. So there are six choices, except you can't vote for mine. I know that my cookie sandwich is the best, but I'm out of the running. So you have five options. Be sure to comment which one you like the best. And that winner will be receiving homemade cookies from yours truly. So be sure to let us know who you think should win. Tomorrow we have two events happening, one for boys, which is Clash Royale Tournament. And the winner of the tournament will actually be having a pizza delivered to their house, which is going to be warm, it's going to be fresh, and it's going to be whatever you want. So be sure that you join pastors Casey and Brighton at 7 p.m. to play on the Clash Royale tournament. And then for the girls, we're going to be hosting a Zoom game night. And the same goes for the girls. Whoever is the final winner of the game night, you'll also get a pizza delivered to your home. So you don't want to miss either one of those events. It's going to be super fun. And today is super special. Today we're starting our We Lead series, which we always love and look forward to this time in the spring when we have your friends, your peers, prepare a message, prepare their hearts to speak from God's word to you. And so today we have Brooklyn Spindle, who's going to be sharing with us about fear and anxiety. And I believe that God is going to speak through her to you and to me through her words today. So be sure that you're listening, that you're attentive, and, and really be asking yourself, what could God want to teach me today? But right now, I am going to pray for you, and we're going to get started with a song of worship. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for these students, and I thank you for the ability to worship together. I thank you for for hearts that are united even when we're apart. And Lord, I just pray that even now, wherever they're sitting, wherever they're watching, that you would begin to make yourself known to them. As we sing with the words of our hearts and the meditations, the meditations of our hearts and the words of our mouth, be pleasing to you. Would you help us to tune our hearts and minds toward you and what you would have for us today? God, we love you so much. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Worship empty words I can't afford. I'm not chasing feelings, that's not why I'm singing. You're the reason for my song. If I sing with everything, if I sing for you, my King, oh, and I can't imagine why I would do this all for high, cause it's all to live too high. You don't want perfection, just my soul's attention. All 
All I have is what I'll give And more than a song that lasts a moment I'll live a life full of honest worship If I'm here to sing, then I'll sing with purpose All oh, the praise, Lord, you deserve it And I only want to sing If I sing with everything If I sing for you, my King Cause it's all to lift you high yes. Come on, let's sing this out I only want to sing And I only want to sing If I sing with everything If I sing for you, my King Oh, and I can't imagine why I would do this all for high Cause this all to lift you high Oh, and I only wanna sing If I sing with everything If I sing Amen. Thank you so much for worshiping with me. Like Kate said earlier tonight, we have the very special privilege to hear from our friend Brooklyn Spindle. So I need all of you guys to welcome her via the comment section. Hey guys, welcome to BFC Youth. I'm so excited to be sharing with you. Have you ever been scared or anxious out of your mind? Recent studies have shown that over 70% of teens struggle with anxiety and stress. Another study has shown that over 4 million, 40 million people in the United States, they suffer from this mental health problem. But what if we all put our trust and our faith in God? Maybe this problem would go away. I'd like to read a verse out of Philippians 4. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, we're so thankful that we get to be here listening to you tonight. Even though we're not physically with each other, we're thankful for this opportunity to hear your word. Please speak through me and let your words flow off my tongue. We love you so much, God, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. When I was about seven years old, my dad got a job at Southern Nazarene University as a university pastor. Part of his job is to put together a retreat for the college kids that will be helping the incoming freshmen. It's called Lead Retreat, and it's hosted by New Life Ranch, which is where we go for our winter retreat. So if you've ever been there before, you would know that they have a bunch of obstacle courses. There's a zip line, a big swing, an obstacle course, a rock climbing wall, and then there's the pamper pole. For a seven-year-old girl, the pamper pole is the most terrifying thing that I have ever experienced. What it is, is it's this long wooden pole that has pegs sticking out of it, and you get harnessed in, and there's ropes attached that kids on the ground are holding. You climb up, and you stand on top of it, and you jump off, and you try to grab a bandana. When I was seven, I thought it would be a great idea to attempt this pamper pole. So I get harnessed in, some college kids are on the ground and they're holding, my, holding the ropes and I start climbing. And when I'm climbing, I'm not scared because it's just like a rock climbing wall at your school. But when I reached the top of it, I realized that it was swinging back and forth. And the place that you have to stand on top of is like 10 inches wide. I could not, with all of the life in me, stand up on this pole, more like jump off of it. So instead, I just hung on. And people were cheering on the ground for me, but I could not let go. I was paralyzed with fear. I thought I was going to drop to the ground if I let go. 
But then after 15 minutes of tears and praying, I finally let go. Fear kept me hanging on to that pole, but my dad yelled at me to let go, and I did, and I'm alive, so that's good. Have you ever been paralyzed with fear? The people in Philippi that Paul was teaching to, they were paralyzed with the fear of persecution. They were so scared that if they spoke about the Lord, that they would get sent to jail. In that time, Philippi was a huge trade route for the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire persecuted so many Christians, including Paul. In fact, Paul was writing this letter in jail, but Paul prayed to the Lord that he would give him strength to speak and use this as an opportunity, and sure enough, he did. When the, Philipp- when the people in Philippi heard this, they were so excited. In fact, they used this as their own opportunity, and they spoke about the Lord, and they weren't scared anymore, all because of Paul's actions and his bravery. At NYC, I struggled with the fear of pers- of <laughs> I struggled with the fear of comparison. I compared my life and my faith to all the people around me. I thought that God was going to do the work in me that He was doing in everybody else, but He hadn't done that yet. And I was just so scared that I wasn't going to get what I wanted out of NYC. But I remember one night when Danielle Strickland was speaking. She was speaking about this homeless lady that she was friends with. And I remember in that moment, I just prayed to the Lord that he would pull me and call me to something greater than myself. And I can say that after that service, I was called to missions, and it was one of the best feelings in the world. It made me realize that everybody has a pamper pole that we are holding on to. We become so afraid of letting go that we just hold on, and we're scared that these ropes aren't going to hold us. We're scared that the laws of gravity will come into place and that they will pull us down to the ground. But when we let go and when we put our trust in God, he will help us let go. When we let go, we become free. Free of the fear that held us back. Free of the thoughts that told us we can never let go. And free of the lies that kept us hanging on. When we put our trust and our faith into Christ Jesus, he will make our lives so much happier. We become our seven-year-old fearless self that thinks she can climb the pamper pool. Fear tends to keep us hanging on, but God, he helps us let go. Dear God, thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak to these kids. Thank you for these lives of these kids that get to watch this tonight. I pray that you will speak to all of these kids and that you will pull them to something greater than their own selves. I pray that you won't let any of this fear hold them down and that you will help them to let go of this anxiety and this fear that they are holding on to. I pray this in your name. I love you so much, God, and we all do. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Give it 
all to you, God. Trusting that you'll make something beautiful out of me. And I give it all to you, God. Trusting that you'll make something beautiful out of me. mountain with my hands wide open I will climb this mountain with my hands wide open I will climb this mountain with my hands wide open I will climb this mountain with my hands wide open there's nothing I hold on to it's nothing I hold on to. It's nothing I hold on to. It's nothing I hold on to. I lean, I lean on my own understanding. My life is in the hand of the maker of heaven. I lean on my own understanding. My life is in the hands of the maker of hell. I give, I give it all to you, God. Trusting that you'll make something beautiful out of me. And I give it all to you, God. Trusting that you'll make something beautiful out of me. Amen. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. It was such a great honor we had to listen to Brooklyn. And I just want to encourage you, anything that you might be holding on to, any discouragement, any fear you have in your life, give it to God. He will give you the strength to overcome it and to let go. We'll see you guys tomorrow night.